Ring 9, the final ring. All that resides here is rocks, towers, most of which are soul crushing, and a boiling sea of magma looming beneath you at all times. If you want to beat the inferno, you will have to go through this final task. Over the past month or so, as you may be aware, the developer team have been hard at work creating the ninth ring of the Great Inferno. Like any other project, the developers have been dropping teasers to hype up the community and allow them to be more involved in the process. But this ring's development has been unique from others. For starters, this ring did not have public tower confirmations. This meant the community were left to pick their own personal favourite towers and hope for the best upon release. In fact, the entire development process has been much more secretive than any other thing ever created inside of the game. For example, you may be aware that Ring 9 is actually being built in an entire separate place, and the place in game is merely an exploiter trap rigged with an automatic ban. Due to the secretive manner of the development process, each teaser we get of Ring 9 comes with great anticipation and excitement. Many of the teasers have given us an idea of what to expect when we load into Ring 9 for the first time on that faithful day of release. The teasers have also came with many secrets and mysteries that are left up to the interpretation of the community. By now, it appears Ring 9 development is surprisingly close to completion and the teasers, especially the latest one, have revealed a ton of information relating to Ring 9. In this video, we will unpack the official teasers go through some more hidden information and make some assumptions about what we can expect to find on release day. This is Ring 9, everything we know so far. Before we start analysing the teasers, we first need to give some background knowledge as many people in the wider community aren't up to speed. So. Ring 9, also known as Treachery, is the ninth ring of the Great Inferno. The tower difficulties in this ring range from intense to catastrophic. Ring 9 is also the first ring to be labelled as a soul crushing ring, where over half the towers are of the difficulty insane or higher. Ring 9 also holds the most towers of any ring in the Great Inferno, with a total of 13 towers and 1 citadel. To get to this ring, you will first need to beat 60 towers in the Great Inferno and some of these must include 4 towers of intense difficulty or over and 1 tower of remorseless difficulty or over. Ring 9 is the last thing standing between you and the final stretch. So now that we have the basics of Ring 9 down pat, let's look at the official teasers. Over the past couple of weeks, five major Ring 9 teasers have been posted in the Discord server. At first, many people were skeptical and didn't think they were actually for Ring 9. But around the third and fourth teasers, the staff finally begun to open up a bit, confirming that all the teasers were indeed for Ring 9. Not only did the teasers show parts of Ring 9 off to the community, but most of them also had hidden meanings. Soon, the community was racing to solve the mysteries of the teasers and find the hidden tower embedded within each teaser. So, let's look at each teaser in more detail. Let's start with the first teaser posted by Array on the 25th or 26th of March, depending on your time zone. This teaser was posted without any warning or context and it took the community by surprise. Many theories came into place. Some suggested it may be part of a sub realm, others thought it was for an event. Some even thought it was a wind room for Tower of Terrifying Beauty, hence the view of Ring 7 you can see in the picture. The staff weren't very helpful at this time. Some even decided to start the mystery of the so-called Tower of Ultimately Terrifying Secret Ending. But with April Fools around the corner, the community was unsure what to think of this strange image that had appeared before them in updates and teasers. That was until the second teaser came along. Just a day later, Duke, the owner of the game themselves, posted the second teaser. People started to notice some similarities between the first and second teasers. First of all, both pictures had remnants of other parts of the game, such as old events and other rings. 
Both teasers have been signed by TC, a character we will see more of later. There was also this strange orange ambience, which made people believe these were from the same place. But what exactly was this place they were showing off? Meanwhile, some of the staff decided to wreak havoc, misdirecting the teasers to the tower of ultimately terrifying secret ending. And the community were fooled. For a short time, there was a divide. A group who thought the teasers were simply a small event or update that was nearby, not to mention April Fools was merely days away at this point. And another group who believed these images were something much more. That was until a breakthrough was made. The image was heavily analysed and something very interesting was found. And soon enough, a bookshelf of possibilities arose. And that's exactly what happened. For these very books stacked quietly in the corner meant the image had a deeper meaning than what was originally thought. When you look at the colours of these 10 books and compare them to the frame of this tower, this was no coincidence. The staff were up to something, but what exactly is this tower? And why did it get so many people to question what these pictures really were? We'll get to that later in the video. After seeing this, the community went back and looked for clues in the first image. I won't go into too much detail here, because it was later confirmed that there was no hidden meaning in the first teaser, and it was simply to set the scene. With these two teasers out there, it wasn't enough to convince the entire community that these were indeed for Ring 9, but things started to turn around when the third teaser was released. Three days after the second one, Array posted the third teaser. Unlike the first two, people were prepared to crack the code. This teaser started to give us more of an idea of what we were dealing with. Columns stretching from the roof to the ground, art of the Great Inferno, and the signature orange ambience, people started to believe Ring 9 was closer than expected. But did this teaser have a hidden tower like the second one? Well, four dots were found in this image. Putting them together gives you this curved shape. Hmm, isn't that interesting? Also note the colours of each of the dots and how they correspond with this tower. If you want more information on this particular teaser, watch this video. You will find a link in the description. At this point, some people were still uncertain. After all, it was two days out from April Fools, but would they really put this much effort into an event like this? There was no way all of this was for nothing. Some decided to stand against the teasers, being anything to do with Ring 9, but this all changed when the next teaser came around. Five days later, Array posted yet again another teaser. This was the craziest teaser we had so far, and it was a real game changer in the way the community responded. I'll explain why. The image did in fact have a hidden tower. Basically, the image had four sets of numbers. When you ordered the first number in each pair to ascend, looked at the tower or steeple each pair was resting on, and took the letter that matched the second number, you were left with T-O-B-T, or Tower of Bent Trauma, another popular Ring 9 pick. If you want more information on this certain teaser, I have an entirely separate video just for it. You can check it out in the description. Anyway, you may be thinking, isn't this just as far-fetched as the other teasers? Well, the difference with this one is that on the very video I was just talking about, Array themselves, which is the person who posted this very teaser, left a comment. The comment read, Awesome job. Poggers if I say so myself. Surprised people got this so quickly actually. Though I will say this, the April Fool's event revealed a tower somewhere in it and everyone fell for the herrings. I don't think anyone figured it out. This comment changed the minds of those who did not already believe these teasers were for Ring 9. Finally, everyone was on the same page, and the real hype for Ring 9 could begin. Before we get to the fifth teaser, let's explore this comment a bit more. Everyone should know what this event was by now. A fake Ring 9 released for the 2021 April Fool's event. It was, um... Yeah, um, quite the experience, to say the least. But this event wasn't a complete waste of time. More evidence was found relating to the true Ring 9. Two major pieces of evidence were found in this event, and Logan has already covered both of these. The video will be linked in the description, but I will quickly go over them now. 
as it will be relevant for later in the video where we confirm Ring Nine Towers. So, while the event was running, it played out pretty normally. People didn't really trust anything inside of the event, and for a good reason as well. Like, look at this thing. What? What? But a few days after the event, when the fourth teaser was released and solved, a raised comment sparked some interest back into the April Fool's event. I'll get the comment back up on the screen, just so you can have a look at it. So, Array says that April Fool's event, whilst having some red herrings, actually revealed a tower somewhere, so it was back to investigating. And this is what was found. A sign in the, um, Sands Mansion read, The magic of the mind eye is the key. The mind eye refers to the eye plastered onto floor 9 of Tower of Bloodthirsty Kinos. These sorts of eyes have been known throughout history as mind eyes, a major example being the Illuminati, said to be a powerful, all-seeing organisation. Mind may also be referring to the somewhat disturbing soundtrack of TOBK. The second piece of evidence found in the April Fool's event is this sign that said T-O-A-U, referring to the joke tower known as Tower of Among Us. The only thing with this sign is that it had invisible blocks on the U, when you stood on these blocks and tracked where they were, the U turns into an M. This makes the acronym not T-O-A-U, but T-O-A-M. T-O-A-M, or Tower of Augmented Misery, is a terrifying difficulty tower, and yet another top pick for Ring 9. I hope you're ready for this next teaser. The fifth teaser, also known as The Big One, was the most recent teaser posted by Array. So, why is this teaser called the big one? Well, I think it's pretty obvious. Unlike the other four teasers, which only showed off a maximum of one room, this teaser revealed a never before seen chunk of Ring 9. Straight away, you can see some of the terrain, what appears to be the much anticipated castle lobby, and four towers. Tower of Cruel Punishment, Tower of Augmented Misery, Tower of Bent Trauma, and Tower of High Adrenaline. This image gives us a better idea of how the staff executed Ring 9, and it looks pretty good. You can see the lava falls cascading down the rocks, and a giant lava mushroom. You can also see crystals on the walls near TOCP. The castle itself looks pretty cool, it seems to be filled with lava. There are three towers on the front of the castle, TOIE, TOH, and TOSP, which are all towers from Ring 1. By the way, it was confirmed that there are no hidden towers in this teaser, but I think we got enough in this teaser already. Now, something interesting that has been found when looking at this image is that some of the placements of the towers look a little off. TOCP and TOAM appear to be in their correct positions, and this is seen in the ring select as well, but with TOBT and TOHA, they just don't look right. Before we get into this section of the video, this is entirely opinion based, feel free to share what you think in the comments, but remember to be respectful. So when you put the image through the filters, you are able to see some outlines which highlight the rough edges of these towers. It is pretty obvious that TOBT isn't where it should be, there's a giant rock behind it that does not fit at all, the proportions are also a little off. As for TOHA, you can see some rough edges around this area. These same outlines are evident on the castle, so there is a possibility even the castle isn't where it should be. When you compare these outlines to something like the mushroom, you can see the mushroom has no outlines, meaning it is probably in the correct place. Whilst the teaser reveals a ton of information, it appears to have been manipulated to only show us what was wanted to be shown. We'll see when Ring 9 releases. It is important to remember that this teaser is not the final product. More detail will likely be added to the terrain and around the towers, so don't lose hype if you don't like how this image looks. Now that we've looked at the 5 teasers, let's see what trends are carried across each one. This will also lead into the next section of the video where we confirm towers. In all the teasers, there is an orange ambience. The first four teasers show off a room of what is most likely this castle. Some of these may be portal rooms. Teasers 2, 3 and 4 all revealed a single ring 9 tower. Two more towers were confirmed in the fifth teaser. Next we have the hidden text in each teaser. When you put them all together they read, Hope we meet soon. I've been observing you for a while now. You don't know me, but I know you. 
Very few are determined enough to reach the heart of this inferno. I get lonely. I really can't wait for you to arrive. Your strength must be immense, but sadly. You're nothing compared to me. You won't stand a chance. We do not know much about this mysterious TC character, but they will likely play a major role in the storyline of the game, for Ring 9 and even the final stretch. Some people have suggested TC stands for the creator, which is the most likely theory based off of what we currently know. We will probably find out more information about TC once Ring 9 releases. The teasers may have revealed quite a lot, but I feel there is still heaps that won't be uncovered until Ring 9 releases. Now that we have looked at all the teasers and have some background knowledge, let's move into the next big section of the video, which is where we predict every single Ring 9 tower. Here we are, the section of the video you have probably been waiting for. It's confirming time. As you should know by now, most of the Ring 9 towers have been secret. The difficulties have also been kept secret. Or have they? During the April Fools event, the fake Ring 9 was set up to look pretty realistic. The name of the game, the description, and the ring select were all made to be believable. Although, contrary to popular belief, the difficulties in the ring select were false. What did you expect from an April Fools event? According to Urchin, Duke randomly picked the difficulty chart colours. The thing is, these difficulties weren't that far off. I feel like these were the original difficulties that they were aiming for, but some adjustments were made to suit the top picks and staff polls. So here's the list of towers. I've spaced them out quite evenly to fit the difficulty groupings, so all the towers are in the same sort of skill range. Now let's add the difficulties from the April Fools event as a starting point. Let's make some slight alterations. Let's start by confirming the obvious towers. In the ring select, two towers are currently in ring 9. Tower of Augmented Misery and Tower of Cruel Punishment. So let's first put those onto our list. These towers are also found in the fifth teaser. Speaking of that teaser, we can safely confirm two more towers. Tower of Bent Trauma and Tower of High Adrenaline. Let's look at some other teasers. From the April Fools event, we have confirmed Tower of Bloodthirsty Kinos. From the third teaser, we can confirm Tower of Curved Descent. That's six towers already, just from the obvious teasers. Now let's look at the options for the beginner towers. Here are the options for the beginner towers. First up, we have Tower of Great Overcomings, which is a tower themed around the Wild West. It looks amazing and it's really fun to play. I recommend checking it out if you haven't already. It's probably around mid-intense, due to it being pretty short. This tower would fit pretty well in Ring 9, and it is probably the best option out of all the intenses. Next we have Tower of Slowly Fading Vibrance. This tower is very modern, and focuses more on design and creativity. It is also quite long. Whilst it is still a pretty decent tower, it wouldn't really fit in Ring 9, as it is a bit too modern. It may have a better chance in Zone 5 though. For the third option, we have Tower of Questionable Trials. I played through this tower and I really enjoyed it. I wouldn't say it's modern, but it is still pretty creative. It has great basic part usage and looks pretty cool overall. It feels around the same difficulty as Tower of Triangular Terror, maybe a bit harder due to Floor 10 outside. I believe this tower is the next best option for Ring 9, as it fits pretty well. Tower of Agile Fanfares is a pretty short tower. The only problem is, we don't want too many short towers. There's nothing that interesting about it either. Tower of Trainwrecks is an awesome tower, but the theme isn't the best for Ring 9. It also wouldn't really fit in Ring 9, as it is a horizontal tower. Tower of Anticlimatic Outcomes was going to be an option, but Urchin confirmed that the tower has been nerfed to challenging and is now aiming for Zone 5. So that's all the good options for the intense towers. Let's add our top two picks. Tower of Great Overcomings and Tower of Questionable Trials. For the last slot of beginner towers, we will skip over this one for now. Next we have the options for the intermediate towers. We only need one more remorseless tower, since everything else has already been filled in. First up we have Tower of Beat Block Berserk. This tower utilises beat blocks very well. It is extremely creative and has great design. It isn't too modern, so it has a good chance at Ring 9. I think it would fit pretty well with its open air frame. Tower of Horrifying Experiences is next on our list. This tower is very interesting to say the least. It would probably fit better in like some Halloween event than Ring 9. 
tower of steadily increasing intensity was built for Ring 9. It looks really cool, and I reckon TOBBV and TOSII would be a great pair. The difficulties seem to be pretty balanced as well, with TOSII being around mid remorseless and TOBBV being low. Tower of Hellish Hallway Happenings is pretty good, but it's horizontal, and that doesn't really work with Ring 9. It is also around peak remorseless, like Tower of Bent Trauma. Tower of Joking is a classic themed tower. It feels very similar to Citadel of Uneasiness. It only just passed review, but it probably has a good chance behind TOBBB and TOSII. Next we have Tower of Pastel Pillars. When I was playing through this tower, it felt a lot like Tower of Uneasy Scaling. It, it's definitely better than Tower of Uneasy Scaling, like, they definitely focus on gameplay a lot more and try to make it equal with the design and creativity. And I think it's, it's pretty decent after playing through the entire thing and like knowing where to go. So it's, it's a good tower, it's also the creator's first tower, so amazing job, but it probably wouldn't fit that well in Ring 9. It could have a chance at like Zone 5 or 6 maybe, we'll see. Last we have Tower of Funhouse Frenzy, it's alright but I don't think it fits very well. There's nothing that interesting about it. So from these towers, I'm going to safely assume TOBBB is in the final spot for the intermediate towers. The other spot in beginner towers is probably one of the other remorseless, such as TOSII or TOJ. Unlike the intense towers, there isn't another remorseless tower that really stands out from the rest for me, so I'm going to leave it blank. Feel free to choose your own remorseless tower to complete the list. For the advanced towers, we need one insane and one extreme or terrifying. First, let's narrow down the difficulty for the second spot. We probably want something that is high extreme or low terrifying, so there isn't much of a difficulty jump. Anything lower, such as high insane to low extreme, is already covered pretty well. The other extremes aren't that good. Well, Tower of Groovy Charms is decent, but it does not fit at all. So let's look at the spot to be terrifying. We probably want something low to mid terrifying, Anything past that is too close to Tower of Augmented Misery. Straight away, this takes all the terrifying towers out, except for one, Tower of Nervous Sweating. This tower is very likely to be in. It's a pretty old tower, but the thing is, it has recently been updated and a win room has been added. Would the creator really update such an old tower without reason? Gemma confirmed that terrifying and catastrophic towers will have their own win room. So the creator of Tons was likely asked to build one, Next we have another insane spot. Tower of Vague Perceptions would have fit this spot pretty well, but it is already in Ring 6 of Atos, and the creators are pretty happy with its current position. So that leaves us with three towers. Tower of Contrasting Boundaries probably doesn't fit in Ring 9. It's, it's pretty old as well. That leaves us with Tower of Dangerous Pillar Adventures and Tower of Frightening and Confusing Trials. Both of these towers are quite similar in style. Tower of Dangerous Pillar Adventures is a bit more creative and has an interesting frame. The only problem is, this tower has already been confirmed for Ring 7 of Atos. So it looks like Tofact has the best chance out of all these towers. Let's add Tofact and Tons to the advanced towers. Finally we have a catastrophic tower to confirm, for the psychologically unsafe tower section. It is definitely a catastrophic tower, because it has already been confirmed that there are two. So here are the choices. Yeah, I don't think much discussion needs to go on here to figure out the other catastrophic tower. It's basically confirmed at this point, so let's add Tower of Champions Road. Now we have the Citadels. There aren't many options for Citadels, and they are all remorseless. Citadel of Inferno's End has been the top pick for a while, but there have been a few issues with it. First off, they are already trying to make sure Ring 9 is not laggy, especially with the amount of soul crushing towers. It needs to be playable. This Citadel is very client object heavy and is filled with design. They did try their best to optimise it, but it's probably going to be still pretty laggy in Ring 9. Also, Ring 9 isn't exactly the end of the Grey Inferno, so don't be discouraged if Ring 9 releases without the Citadel you were expecting. Citadel of Inferno's End still has a good chance of becoming something of higher importance in the game. Possibly in a sub-realm with one of those Guardians Duke has been talking a lot about recently, and even as part of the final stretch, the true end of the Inferno. Citadel of Endless Treachery is harder than Remorseless Difficulty, so it is automatically disqualified. That leaves Citadel of Lethargy. Now if we were to open Ring 9 to the Citadel, don't worry. Keep in mind that Citadel of Inferno Zen could still make a comeback later in the game's development. Try give this Citadel a go before you make judgement, but for now, 
We will add Citadel of Lethargy to our list. Remember, Citadel of Inferno's End may still have a shot at getting into Ring 9. You never know. I think it's best we prepare for the second option, so we either get what we expected, or get pleasantly surprised with Citadel of Inferno's End. And just like that, we have pretty much filled in a Ring 9 confirmation list, with some predictions of course. Remember those choices for the last Remorseless on Beginner Towers, and it's up to you to choose between those. It could even be an intense tower, who knows. Also, Tower of Beat Block Berserk and this mystery slot are interchangeable if the difficulty of the tower in the mystery slot ends up to be harder. So that just about wraps up this section of the video. Remember, some of these are just predictions based on the most likely outcomes. Here's a clear list to show what is a prediction and what is 100% confirmed based on teasers. If you want to make your own Ring 9 list, feel free to write it in the comments below, but remember to be respectful of other people's lists. For the last part of the video, let's look over some extra Ring 9 information. To wrap up this video, here are a bunch of smaller bits of information, as well as some stuff that was introduced after this script was written. First off, a few days ago, Urchin confirmed that Ring 9 will have a mini Ring 8 in the distance, similar to what is currently found in Ring 1, Zone 2, and more. He says it looks pretty cool, because they put it at a nice angle. Hopefully it can stay in Ring 9 for us to see, and won't have to be removed due to lag. It does appear that there haven't been many lag issues with Ring 9, so that's some good news. Next up, it is confirmed that Ring 9 Tower Rush will be a thing. Gemma has also confirmed the details. Ring 9 Tower Rush will break no Tower Rush rules. It will still consist only of the non-soul crushing towers and the Citadel. This means Ring 9 Tower Rush will only have around 6 towers. Don't underestimate it though, it will probably still be quite hard, especially with Tower of Bent Trauma. Before all the Ring 9 teasers started flying at us, a picture was posted in updates and teasers that everyone kind of just forgot about. Posted by Lightsynth way back on the 20th of February was this. There is a good chance that this is the Ring 9 portal emblem. The reason why I believe this is that it looks an awful lot like the castle posted in teaser 5. The only other thing it could be is for Arcane Area, because Arcane Area does not currently have a portal emblem, and the reaction to this teaser was a crystal. It's probably Ring 9's though. This determines which portals are placed together. In other rings, soul crushing tower portals have always had custom rooms. Due to the sheer number of soul crushing towers in Ring 9, exceptions have been made. As you saw in the section of the video where we confirmed towers, no portals will have individual rooms besides the Citadel which is confirmed by Gemma. There will still be the usual beginner, intermediate, advanced and psychologically unsafe tower sections. Even the catastrophic towers won't have their own portal rooms. Gemma has also confirmed that the two catastrophic towers will be in the same room. It probably won't be easy to get to this room though. The main win room of this ring will hopefully have an awesome song and an amazing view. Unlike the portal rooms, some of the towers do get their own win rooms. Gemma confirmed that the insane and extreme towers won't have their own win rooms, but terrifying and catastrophic towers will. This also begs the question that maybe a terrifying tower or two will also be in the same room as the catastrophic towers. If you're in the Discord server, you are probably aware that phase 1 of Ring 9 bug testing is complete. This time around, the bug testing report has been done so no towers are revealed. There was also this phase 1 bug test report that was released after bug testing was complete. Here is the information provided. This phase of bug testing had been undertaken over almost two months. There was a total of 122 bugs found and fixed, and the most bugs in a single tower was 32. This was probably one of the more modern client object heavy towers, such as Tower of Curved Descent or Tower of Cruel Punishment. Phase 2 of bug testing has not started as of writing this script, but it will probably begin a few days after phase 1 was completed. So with all of this in mind, when can we expect Ring 9 to release? Remember this is only a prediction, there is no set release date. After phase 1 of bug testing finished, the developers made it very clear not to ask them when Ring 9 is releasing. If you've been playing JTOH for a while, you would know by now that new content releases when it is ready. They never have certain dates and times. According to Array, 
Ring 9 will come out whenever they feel it is an appropriate time to release it and when it's truly ready to be released publicly. It won't hurt to make a prediction though. So based off previous Rings and Zones, they have always released one to two weeks after phase one of bug testing was complete. After phase two of bug testing is complete, Ring 9 can be expected any day. I think we could expect Ring 9 any time from late April to early May. Hopefully this video has given an idea of what we will be walking in on when Ring 9 releases. If you enjoyed this video, don't be afraid to leave a like. It helps a lot to get this video out to the wider community and educate as many people as possible before Ring 9 releases. Now I just have one favour for people who are still watching. Leave a comment of what new things you have learnt from this video. This video took a significant amount of time to make compared to my other videos and it is the first time I have made a video in this style. Let me know what you thought of it, feedback is always appreciated. I hope to see you all soon, enjoy Ring 9.